In this video, I'm going to show you how to balance a chemical equation on the example of a combustion reaction. On a combustion reaction, you have some type of fuel, in this case a hydrocarbon, that is reacting with oxygen to form uh, carbon dioxide and water. Now, when we observe the reaction, we can often tell what are uh, the uh, compounds involved. C5H12, O2, CO2, and H2O. But uh, we cannot tell how many uh, molecules of C5H2 will react with how many oxygen to create how many carbon dioxide to create how many uh, water molecules. So uh, one job that you will often have to do is to try to balance the equation so it works out. Remember, in a chemical reaction, uh, the number of atoms on the left of each element have to be equal to the number of atoms of each element on the right. So how do we find these numbers here? There are several ways. Uh, I'm going to present you two approaches. The first one, if it's very simple, you can simply try out different combinations. So what I like to do is the following. I like to write, like to write down how many uh, atoms of carbon have on the left and on the right, how much hydrogen I have on the left and on the right, and how much oxygen I have on the left and have on the right. And I'm going to start with my numbers. Here I had 1 times C5. That means I have 1 times 5 equals 5 carbon on the left, meaning I need to have 5 carbon on the right. So I know this one has to be 5. So I know that there's no other molecule with carbon inside. So here we have C1. So I know that this one must be 5. I'm going to go to the next one, hydrogen, I have 1 H12, so I have 1 times 12 equals 12 hydrogen on the left, meaning I need uh, 12 hydrogen on the right, so I need 12. Here I have H2, so 2 in each molecule, so basically 2 times how much is 12? 2 times 6 is 12, so I know there is a 6 here. Next step is oxygen. I don't know how many there are on the left, but now I already have to count here on the right. How many oxygen I have on total? I have 5 times 2. 5 times 2 plus 6 times 1. 6 times 1. So 5 times 2 is 10 uh, plus 6 times 1 is 16. So I have 16 oxygen on the right, meaning there must have been 16 oxygen on the left. I have uh, O2 molecules here, oxygen molecules with two atoms per molecule. So the question is 2 times how much is 16? And the answer is 2 times 8 is 16. So here I have my balanced equation. Option number two is using math. So what I do in this case, I will simply give names for unknowns here. So this is my first unknown, x. This is my second unknown, y. And this is my uh, third unknown set. And I'm going to write equations. I actually have three unknowns, so a math teacher will tell you if you, have, if you have three unknowns, you need to have three independent equations to solve for it. So let's see if we can find three equations. Let's look first. The first equation I'm going to get from my uh, carbon. I know that 1 times 5 carbons, 1 times 5 carbons must be equal to y times 1 carbon. Then I have the same on both sides. Uh, second equation I can get from uh, oxygen. So let's go for oxygen, where I have x times 2 oxygen is equal to y times 2 oxygen plus set times 1 oxygen. Last equation is from my third element that's involved here, hydrogen. So how many hydrogen I have on the left? I have 1 times 12. And on the right I have unknown set times 2. So I have a system of equations with 
three equations and three unknowns. There are several ways of solving this. There is also a whole branch of linear algebra uh, that you can use to solve this. Uh, if you're lucky and you're only having three equations, three unknowns, uh, quite many calculators have actually the options to solve this for you how, if you know how to type it in your calculator. Uh, here it looks actually fairly simple. So I have 1 times 5 uh, equals y times 1. So I have 5 is y. Well, that's already solved. So now this one is going to be 5. Uh, here I have uh, this one too complicated. Let's skip it. And then here I have 1 times 12. 12 is 2 times z. So I know immediately that 12 divided by 2 is z equals 6. So I have the 6 here. And now for my equation here, this one, I'm going to take it down here. It's a bit more complicated. So I have 2 times x equals 2 times y uh, plus 1 times z. I already know that y is 5. So the right side, I can write 5, 2 times 5 plus, and I know the z already. So plus uh, 1 times 6 is uh, 2 times my x, so I know that x is 10 plus 6 divided by 2, which is 8. Gave me the same answer as before. Again, how you get from the system of equations to the answer depends a bit on how, we, how your problem is. You can solve for one unknown, substitute in the other, you can use the Gauss algorithm, or you can use the calculator uh, if your calculator has a setting to solve a linear equation with three unknowns.